We've talked about economic slowdown. We've talked about wars. Both inflict pain. But do you know what can be worse? A pandemic. Our generation has seen it firsthand. The Wuhan virus pandemic. The whole world was hit. More than 770 million people were infected. 6.9 million of them died. It was horrible. Turns out it was just a trailer. The next one will be much worse and it is coming. I know it sounds ominous, but I'm not the one saying this. Experts are. They say the next big pandemic is coming. It will be caused by what they call disease X. And no, Elon Musk has nothing to do with this. The name disease X was adopted by the World Health Organization back in 2018. The name is hypothetical. It stands for a disease caused by an unknown microbe, like the variable X. It could be anything. A flu, the Wuhan virus, or a souped-up ancient killer making a comeback like typhoid or tuberculosis. It could spill over from one species to another. Go to humans, from a pig, a bat, a chicken, or even a hamster. It could come out of a fur farm in the UK or a pig farm in Mexico. It could be birthed in a disturbed forest or a weapons lab in Algeria. It may arrive decades later or tomorrow. And that's some high stakes confusion. Every few weeks, they come up with a new report on this disease X. It makes dire predictions. But honestly, it offers nothing concrete. It's infuriating. If they don't know anything for sure, why bother at all? All they can say with some certainty is this. Another pandemic is inevitable. With worsening climate change and denser human and animal populations, disease X is coming. Many experts have said this. The latest one is Dame Kate Bingham. She chaired the UK's vaccine task force. She says the next pandemic could be 20 times deadlier than the one caused by Wuhan virus. It could take 50 million lives. Now, reports say scientists have identified 25 virus families so far. 25 families, each family has thousands of viruses within it. But there are still millions of others yet to be discovered. So fear of the unknown persists. Do you know what makes it worse? The lack of clarity over pandemic response. What do you do when it hits us? No one knows how to deal with the next outbreak. It's been three years since the Wuhan virus pandemic began, yet many aspects of the best response remain unsettled. When a new virus spreads quickly, with no warning, there is little information. But at that time, hard policy decisions have to be made, and they must be made quickly. There are many questions. Should schools be closed? Should there be a mask mandate? Should there be international travel bans? If a safe and effective vaccine becomes available, should it be mandated? Should it be compulsory? Health experts and policymakers have debated these questions, but they have not reached a conclusion. There is no collective response or resolve to devise a plan. About two years ago, countries agreed to develop what they called a pandemic treaty, like a global agreement. A treaty that would list the ideal response to future diseases, to help with preparation and prevention. That was the plan. But two years and counting, there is no such treaty. This year, the United Nations became desperate at the General Assembly. They took matters in their own hands. The UN called for a high-level pandemic meeting. It was held in September, and a document was released. Guess what it said? Any obligations stated for the governments became recommendations. Do you know who was given the lion's share of responsibility here? The World Health Organization, the one that dragged its feet and praised China in the last pandemic. They are in charge again. And all of this offers little hope. It shows that pandemic amnesia has set in. The sense of urgency has been replaced by complacency. Public health systems were exposed the last time. They were unprepared. They could not cope. And policymakers are showing no intent to fix this. With no plan in place, they will scramble to solve the next crisis. They'll be caught unprepared yet again. Disease X may be fictitious today, but it's also a harsh warning. The world cannot wing a pandemic. It must prepare for one.